Welcome back to Suits to Sandals, where Dre, Wiley, and Misha. And in this series, we're going to take you guys along with us on our second bike tour. Come along as we ride through tunnels and bridges on the rail trail of the Great Allegheny Passage, 150 miles from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Cumberland, Maryland. Today is the first day of our bike tour adventure. Maisha's with us, she's in the background making that noise. I'm currently in our hotel in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and the plan is to ride our bikes on the Gap and CNO trails from Pittsburgh to Washington, DC. We think it's gonna take us about seven to eight days, but let's get going. Woo, it is brisk this morning, Maisha. Like 44 or 45 degrees. Looks familiar. We were here last night having our dinner and a coffee. Quick bagel stop before we hit the trail this morning. We are in the marketplace in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and uh, Maishi's wide awake because there's food involved. What do you think, Maishi? You trying to get the food? It's bike trip time. I am so wobbly on this bike since not using it since the Greenway trip. Might have to help Dre on this one. It's a little tight. Maishi adjustment. Terminus? Yeah. There it is. which is 150 miles. That's gonna take us from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania down to Cumberland, Maryland. And this is a pretty well manicured rail trail uh, most of the way from what we've read. So it should be smooth sailing. After that, we're gonna go on the CNO, which is the Chesapeake and Ohio uh, canal. canal. And that's an old towpath. And that one might be a little bit more ruddy, more muddy, more unmaintained, so we'll see what happens there. We're just glad to sign greenways because we don't have to deal with traffic. So. Yeah, this is a lot different than what we did last year. Last year we rode from the Canadian border in Maine all the way down to Key West, Florida to the buoy. Lots of uh, wild and crazy roads and not all bike paths, so this should be much more relaxed. And we're off. We're leaving Point State Park one of the terminuses of the Gap Trail, the Great Allegheny Passage. Should be relatively smooth sailing all the way. Looking forward to it. This is our second bike tour. This is Maisha's second bike tour. Last year we picked up bike touring on a whim because uh, we wanted to do something big. We had both quit our jobs at the time and sold our house, so wanted to have some fun, so why not go big? We didn't do a ton of training for, well, we did no training for this trip. So the first couple days are training. And as far as research prior to the trip, we tend to just like to wing it along the way. And two of the main reasons why we don't do too much research before we get into a venture is A, when we're working, we're working 70 hours a week for five months straight and we have no free time. But B, I think if you know too much and do too much research before an adventure, it can take away 
from the enjoyment of it because you're kind of anticipating what's gonna happen. You know, find out as we go along. So we came from this way, riding along, and I was like, wait a minute, goats? Wonder why there are goats. So we are in Homestead, and I didn't even notice them. Usually I'm the one to spot stuff like this. They have 11 goats that basically clean the unwanted weeds along the side of the river. They've been doing this project for six years. So, so far we've been riding between the actual railroad tracks and the river on the rail trail. So very industrious, lots of train noise, lots of truck noise, lots of bridges. Pretty nice day. It's going to be a high of 66 today. So far so good, right Maishi? We see a lot of cyclists going by who are doing the gap trail as well. First big stop of the day, 10 miles in. Giving Maishi some water. Rest in the tushies. What do you think, Mama? We just gave Maisha a bath, so she is shedding like crazy. Oh yeah. So we figured out on our last ECG bike tour that uh, in order for both of us not to be grumpy by the end of the day, the best thing is to switch the trailer every 10 miles. Seems to be working out pretty good for us. So this is the first leg and we're doing about 35 miles today. We didn't want to get too crazy today. Can't take her anywhere. Fifteen miles into today. That was my first missed turn of the trip. First day didn't take long. Got caught not reading the sign. Just entered into McKeesport, so we're hoping we can find somewhere for lunch. Our plan is on this trip to do kind of half and half. We brought enough for like three breakfasts, three dinners, and three lunches. And we plan on camping every night. So we brought some food, but also when we come into these little towns, we'd like to support them and get some lunch. This kind of stuff is Maisha's least favorite when she's on a bridge and can see down. She is not a fan of heights, but she's gotten a lot better ever since we did the East Coast Greenway. She is way less scared of stuff like this. So we're currently in Dravo and the cool thing about the Gap Trail and all along Gap and CNO Trail is that they have these free uh, hiker biker campgrounds and this is really nice so it's got the pump for water and then behind that's the pit toilet and then some of them if you can see it all the way over there have like a shelter that you can sleep in if it's pouring rain but there's tons of places you could easily set up a tent anywhere around here and this one is 26.59 miles from the start of the trail i love free so you could easily do it on a pretty good budget if you brought your food and camped the first leg of the trip out of pittsburgh was very industrious last few miles were somewhat residential passing through people's yards 
now we are classic rail run through the woods to the river next door. Everybody's getting a little quieter, <laughs> getting a little hangry. We haven't eaten lunch yet. I am on my last Maishi mile of the day. Feels good to know I don't have to tow this chunky monkey anymore. Starting to feel my tushy. I'm sure it's not gonna be fun getting on the bike tomorrow morning. But we'll see. This is acid mine drainage coming up from mines. Very acidic and full of iron, apparently. Looks crazy. What do you think of that waterfall, Mama? Huh? The last eight miles or so of the day, we're in Blythedale. I've got my shoes, so I'm in the lead at the moment. Going through some residential areas. Pretty nice, pretty smooth sailing. Coming in to West Newton, which is a Gap Trail town. And we're gonna get some liner. Too late for lunch, too early for dinner, before we head to the campsite tonight. And West Newton seems like it's got a lot of stuff going on. Places to camp, places to stay at a B&B or a hotel. Seems like a good stopping point, but we're gonna go a little bit farther today. Got some cheese pretzels, because why not? I got a chicken parm sandwich. Today I got a chicken sandwich. Trail is here, and the restaurant is there, and we are in West Newton. And my she's waiting for her bite. We are at mile marker 113 of the Gap Trail. Our bellies are full, our butts are sore. We have less than three miles. Today we're gonna stay at the Cedar Creek Trekker Campground. It's a little after five, so we should get there fairly quickly, have enough time to set up the tent or maybe snag one of the shelters. Just rolled into the Cedar Creek Trekker Campground. It's a free campground for hikers and bikers and it is right next to the water, uh, so it's kind of nice. Got some shelters, pit toilet, fire pits, picnic tables, grills. It's uh, pretty well suited for a night or two on the trail. So we did end up getting one of the shelters. There's actually two left, so only one was occupied this time of year. It's October. And we're gonna cowboy camp. I mean, it's not really cowboy camping because we're not out in the open, but basically we're not putting our tent up tonight. So we're just gonna do the air mattress and the uh, sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Hopefully it's not too buggy tonight. And then Maisha, who's probably gonna start to sleep soon because she stayed up all day today. Um, it's just gonna kind of sleep in between us so he can keep an eye on her in the evening. <laughs> 